get strong fast at home. Only four moves. Our first exercise today is the dragon squat. Now this would be considered more a pushing type movement for the legs. It works out really more the ligament strengthening side of things as opposed to strengthening the quadriceps. With this pattern here, you can see how I'm stepping behind one leg. I'm trying to get my knee to the outside of my calf muscle. One more time, stepping, bringing my leg around the back, keeping my knee to the outside of my opposite leg. Now, to get a pulling variation in for the legs to work the hamstrings, we're going to do a single leg deadlift. You can see how I'm putting all my weight onto one leg. My opposite leg is the kickstand, or you can elevate it off the ground and make the movement harder. When doing this movement, you want to make sure that you're arching your spine. So you want to arch just like that, and you don't want to round your spine or hollow it out. So holding the arch, you're going to go down, and then you're going to exhale and come up. Be sure to do about four seconds on the way down, exhaling back to the top. Now moving on to our upper body. For our pushing movement, we're gonna do a scapular push-up. I'm going into retraction and protraction of the shoulder blades. So when I'm doing that, you can see how I'm pinching my shoulder blades together and then I'm separating them. Pinching them, my torso drops down. Separating them, my torso goes back up. Now with this movement, you don't want to be arching, you want to be rounding or hollowing your torso. So no arch, you want to hollow, there it is. Holding that pelvic tilt or that hollowed torso, you're going to continue to do your scapular push-ups. About two seconds on the way down and then an exhale up to the top. Now our pulling motion will be a dragon flag. I love this movement because you don't need a pair of stall bars to do this, even though it's really nice and convenient. You can actually do this putting your hands underneath a couch or a heavy piece of furniture. When doing this motion, you're hiking your knees up to the object and then you're slowly letting your torso come down, working each vertebrae all the way till you get to the tailbone and then you're starting back over to the top. Now, once you get to the bottom of this motion, you don't want to rest all your body weight down onto the ground. As soon as you feel that tailbone touch, that's when you're going to go back to the top of the motion. With this movement again, you want about a four to five second eccentric, exhaling back to the top. You can see these progressions, how I'm slowly lengthening my lever to make the movement harder and harder. Be sure to watch the videos that are on the screen to learn more ways to incorporate exercise into your everyday life. As always, this is Joey saying be kind to one another and move well. Peace.